Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Dude, don't you just love the animation, the improve? Look at the way the backpack, like, in all seriousness, the way the backpack moves, like, with realistic physics. I love that. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like... By the way, dude. if you want to know that little little handy trick, you just, you take your thumb, you put it with your finger, you, you make this cool bitch. sound, and then you... You have some water, or in my case, some rum, and you put it in your mouth, and you just <laughs> and and you make a cool noise, and people think you're 420 Blaze at Ganja Master, <laughs> right? Sure. Easy. Oh crap! I didn't get the bill drill yet. Oh, by the way, this episode, could you guys do me a favor and comment "Yeah, boy" in the comments? <laughs> Give him a "Yeah, boy." Oh yeah, because I I love that phrase. Don't tell James, but for Christmas. I bought him a 100 foot uh, billboard that says, yeah, boy, and it has his picture on it. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, ain't that special. Missing friend, if you see him, say, yeah, boy, to determine <laughs> if he's James. Warning, if you say, yeah, boy, he'll instantly run in the opposite direction and never speak to you again. You'll spook him. <laughs> no! Uh, don't. Uh, thoughts of Elliot. PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boy. And it's just, in my mind, it's just you going, Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. And I'm like, ah! Then I run, like, having a huge anxiety attack. <laughs> no, I, I, I'd never go that far. You could never scare me off, Elliot. Not again. I just love you too much. Gross. Yeah. I love I like, you. I like hating. Yeah, do you? I'm a hateful person. You, you know? love to hate, therefore you Dude, love something. actually, <laughs> this is kind of interesting to me. So you know how there's Tinder, for sure, because Tinder narcs Tinder shark nippers. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to be careful with that one. Shark Tinder nippers. Shark Tinder nippers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. There is an app like Tinder, but instead of matching you on like, what? How does Tinder work? You've used Tinder, right? Uh, it matches. Well, well you really, just, you see their picture, you read their bio, and you swipe right or left, right? Yeah, like it's not like it automatically matches. Okay. As far as I'm aware, it okay. just shows you everybody. Gotcha. So it's not like uh, Match.com, right? Yeah. There, there's websites, right? Mm hmm Yeah, and I think they have an algorithm that's like, oh, you like to bike. Well, this person likes to bike. Oh, you like scary movies? This person... There is a an app like Tinder, but it matches you based on things you hate. <laughs> what? So, yeah, you just write things down that you hate. And, uh, yeah, you get matched. Like, Are you serious? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't know what it's <laughs> called, but uh, I read about it. That's cool. Okay, Google. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's way. not a. Uh, pardon us, people. Technical difficulties. Let's try App again. App that matches you on things you hate. I can search the web. Yeah, baby. Hook me up, fam. What are we gonna get? I gotta know. Uh, I dating. Know, uh, here we go. Dating know. app that matches you based on things you hate. Oh, and it's in the UK. Oh, it's in the UK it's only. It's called Hater. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. It kind of is, you know, like, some of my most uh, fierce conversations with my friends are just, like, discovering that they hate something that I hate, right? Like, Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's just fun. Yeah, like, oh, dude, I fucking hate when, like, you're working. When women I talk? <laughs> wow. Like in the, James, no, no. I'm here from your company. I'm a rep. You're gonna have to go through sexism training now, James. Well, well, well. No, I, I was talking about the Little James? Mermaid. You know how, like, in the Little Mermaid, there's the part where Ariel loses her voice. That's my favorite part of the movie because she's so happy. So I, I like it when she and she happens to be a woman doesn't talk. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. No more. <laughs> I'm no totally more just kidding. I'm totally just kidding, everybody. <laughs> no more Oops. sexism training for you, James. Yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, as you are saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, like, yeah, if you hate something like your friend, like, I fucking hate when customers come in and they fucking, like, jack my face in with a, a wrench. Yeah, I fucking hate that, too. That's just a great conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Funny story, actually. I worked at a place a long time ago. Um, 
and I, I was a little more like customer facing job, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and actually you had the same profession at, at one time. I, I think I will say this. You can bleep it out. If okay. You don't think it's appropriate. I think it's fine. I used to work yeah. at a movie theater. Is oh, that fine yeah. with you? Oh, dude, that's fine to say cool. movie theater. Cool. Well, I mean, because I said that you worked there too. Anyways, different place, but mm-hmm. I won't say where it was. And uh, yeah, we once had a customer. By the way, recommendation, don't fucking work at a movie theater. Oh my God. Holy yeah, shit. Dude. Like sucks. that's one of the worst jobs you can. I don't know what it is, but eighty percent of the people that come in, like, they are pissed as shit, dude. Wh- what? Really? Yeah, where I worked, I never had to deal with that. But wow. Yeah, they are late to their movie, so they're mad. Everything <laughs> costs a shit ton of money. They're mad. Uh, everyone's like a fucking sixteen-year-old trying to work. Sixteen to twenty-year-old, right? They they just don't want to deal with the little kids, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's me, little kid, and fucking. Hell, man. Dude. How old were you? Uh, it's probably like twenty. Oh, okay. so so kid, quote unquote. I mean, I still consider myself a kid at twenty four. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. And holy shit! Like this one time, we had a customer come in. I did not have to deal with them. Oh, and and by the way, where I worked, the staff and everyone was fucking awesome. They were great. It was just oh, wow. the customers that. Good sucked. for you. My staff sucked, and the customers I had to deal with seemed pretty nice for oh, the most part. <laughs> it was swapped. Everyone there was awesome. Uh, the company was awesome. Just the people were fucking dicks. And so yeah, dude, this one person came in one time, and they were like going into a tirade. They were just fucking irate, right? They were wow. so mad, and. So the uh, manager on duty went and talked to him, and I was uh, at, like, the concession stand so I could hear what was going on. They mm-hmm. were, like, screaming. They were super mad, right? Wow. Guess what they were mad about? <sighs> uh, not getting enough butter on their popcorn? No, dude. What? They they bought their tickets on Fandango, mm-hmm. um, and they went to the wrong movie theater. Like, oh, my it God. It listed movie theater A, and I worked at movie theater B. They went to movie theater B. And that's their own fault. And then they were yelling at the manager saying, this is your fault. You uh, willed me psychic- psychically yeah. to come here instead. Pretty much. And, I'm on your schemes. Yep. And demanded a refund for the movie and gas money. What? Yep. What? Wow. That is... Yep. That is... Yep. There's dipshit yep. and then there's full yep. dipshit. That is yeah. the king that's of That's the kind dipshit. of shit that like we had to deal with. That was probably one of the worst, but... Wow. Yeah, dude. Dude, don't work at a movie is... theater. Yeah, no, I, I don't plan to ever again. I yeah, yeah. Well, I meant for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. The the movie theater I had to work at, the people there weren't like terrible people or anything, but they were. I don't know. It was like a. It was kind of a. To- there were some cool people there, and then there were some people. There was one guy in particular who was really dickish to me, and in fact, you know what? I I don't know if I've shared this on uh, Royal Goobs or not, but funny story. The guy who who was douchey who worked with me. There was, he, he took every chance he could to screw with me. Sometimes it was just for laughs and it was funny, but then other times it was douchey. One time at the very end of my shift, I was clocking out, and somehow he twisted my words around to, "Oh, you you think I'm cute, huh? Are you are you are you gonna are you gonna try and blow me, huh? Are you gonna take me out back and blow me, huh?" And I said. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna blow you! Like, right in front of him. And, yeah. like, one of the bosses, I said, You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you back there, and I'm gonna suck your wiener hard! I am gonna <laughs> take you to back there, choke myself on your dick, and puke all over you, because oh you God. are hot! Holy and then God. I walked off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I felt like a boss. That's beautiful. And, I, ironically enough... I actually got that quote from uh, somebody who bullied me back in high school. So, you know what? That person... Who that bullied... was me, by the way. I bullied James <laughs> in high school. Yeah, we're, we're not actually... Fr- this whole Royal Goobs channel, he bullied me into doing it. I Yeah, I spit in his food, so there's a court order saying that we have to do uh, two <laughs> series of Let's Plays. But, but anyway... <laughs> That's yeah, what fuck this is. Dark Souls. I'm not playing that shit. Yeah, that was a ruse. But, but anyways, I'm, yeah, so... <laughs> if if by any chance uh, you're the the guy who was a douche to me in high school and you happen to know who I am and you know who you are and you know that you sold that to me, thank you. Everything Thanks, as, aside from that, go screw yourself. Unless you're a nice person now, in which case, if you apologize, I forgive you. Mwah. Wow. Yeah. That's deep to say about a dog. Got him. <laughs>